I think I need to go see a doctor, said no cat ever. Your feline friend hasn't been feeling the best lately, but did you manage to pick up on it? Cats are generally stoic and docile animals. Observing changes in their attitudes and patterns requires cat parents to be a bit more meticulous. Interestingly, 63% of all cat owners don't believe that regular vet checkups are necessary for cats. Your cat does, however, need to see a vet once every now and then. But what's now and what's for then? Today, we're looking at 10 critical signs your cat needs to see a vet now. Number 10. Change in Behavior Ask any cat parent you know and they'll tell you that no two cats are entirely alike. While there is a common perception that cats are timid and stoic animals, it's not the case for every single feline. The first telltale sign of an underlying health issue is a shift in behavior. How does it start? Your usually friendly cat will seem excessively lethargic they've been sleeping more and more, your cat will cry out every now and then. Some cat parents might take this as a sign that the cat wants more food or wants their favorite toy, but if the animal's behavior continues to shift for more than 24 hours, then there's probably something amiss. The most common signs, although they aren't applicable to every feline, are extreme lethargy, loss of appetite or an increase thereof, excessive crying, and loss of balance or coordination. Number 9. Change in litter box habits Your cat might not have the right words to tell you it needs to go to see the vet, but it can display a few signs for it, some of which are a bit too obvious. As a responsible cat parent, it is important to observe your pet's litter box habits. Diarrhea and constipation can both prove to be fatal if left untreated. Diarrhea is usually caused by allergic reactions or intestinal parasites. In the case of the former, you might want to switch out your pet's food for something different. For an intestinal condition, you'd have to see the vet and get appropriate medication. Why? Well, because if left untreated, diarrhea will result in excessive dehydration and in turn cause other health diseases. Constipation is also indicative of an underlying intestinal health issue. This is usually caused by blockage in the lower intestines, which might result in your cat crying out all day long. Intestinal blockage is incredibly painful. It is therefore important to observe a shift in your pet's litter box habits and seek medical attention when necessary. Number 8. Excessive Urination Cats are known for being creatures of habit. They'll eat in the same spot, play in the same area, and discharge in the same litter box. They're famously known for being clean house pets, which is why it might ring a few alarm bells if your cat has been excessively urinating all over the house. This feature is usually seen with male cats. There's an obstruction in the urinary tract and your cat will try to get it out by peeing excessively. This might also be due to any microorganisms or associated with diarrhea and allergic reactions. Number 7. Changes in Appetite you might be a cat parent to a feline that takes a bite of their food and is done, or one that licks the bowl clean. Basically, no two cats are entirely similar. Some just have more of an appetite than others and some just aren't as hungry. Which is why it might be concerning when your cat that normally wants seconds isn't seemingly hungry anymore. If your cat hasn't been eating properly for the past 24 to 36 hours, you'll need to take them to a vet immediately. Why? A loss of appetite is a telltale sign of an underlying health condition. This could be kidney disease, dental disease, or even cancer. On the other hand, an insatiable hunger might be a sign of either hyperthyroidism or diabetes. Concurrent to their food habits, also observe their water intake. If your pet is excessively thirsty, they might have diabetes. As a general rule, follow the three P's for diabetes identification. Polyuria, polyphagia, and polydipsia. Number 6. How does their breath smell? 
If you've never had a cat, the thought of smelling their breath might sound a little weird. However, if you've had a cat or any pet at that, you'd know that this is a telltale sign in indicating underlying dental conditions. Bad breath could mean that your cat's oral health is deteriorating. As a responsible cat parent, you need to help your pet with regular toothbrushing and keeping their gums clean. Bad breath could be a sign of several things. Food debris entrapment, swollen gums, oral disease, or a need for dental extractions. An extraction is a last stage procedure. Your pet needs its teeth to function, speak, and most importantly, eat. Therefore, routinely inspect your pet's oral health status and aid them in keeping those teeth sparkly clean. Number five, changes in breathing. If your cat is wheezing, coughing, or has a regular chest movements, then you have absolutely no time to spare. Take your pet to the vet immediately. Changes in breathing might be indicative of medical emergencies, namely choking, regurgitation, and cancer. Your pet might have something lodged into their oropharynx and is now unable to get it out. They're trying to cough it out, but it's lodged irregularly and won't come out on its own. Don't waste your time trying to do the Heimlich maneuver on a cat. Grab your keys and take your cat to see the vet. If your cat isn't choking, there's a possibility that there's a lump growing in your cat's oral cavity or in their oropharynx. One of the signs of cancer is difficulty in breathing. If you're able to catch this sign earlier on, you might just save them from a lot more pain or death. Number 4. Unusual Discharge If you've been a cat parent for a while, you know that a little throwing up every now and then isn't considered as a medical emergency. However, what if your cat vomits excessively and you notice streaks of blood in their vomit? It's not just vomiting, either. Sometimes your cat might have an unusual discharge coming from their ears, which indicates an auricular infection. Their eyes might be runny, their nose might be runny, and your cat might try to alert you towards the situation by crying or screaming. Just because they can't communicate with you verbally doesn't mean that they aren't trying to talk to you. Number 3. Swellings Swellings can be as harmless as mild inflammation or as lethal as a cancerous lesion. Swelling should, however, always be considered as lethal unless proven otherwise. It is important to take your pet to see a vet the minute you notice an abnormal swelling anywhere on their body. In some cases, swellings can be abscesses, wounds, granulation, and in other cases, they can cause malignancies. Your best bet at saving your cat's life is to assume that every lump is malignant until a doctor tells you it's not. It's better to be cautious than to be sorry. Number 2. Rapid Weight Loss You might think that all that playing around with those daily walks are paying off and your cat's finally losing weight. However, vets advise against equating a lot of weight with an unhealthy cat. The truth is that rabid weight loss is often a grave sign of an underlying health condition, even a telltale sign for malignancy. Weight loss is, however, not the first symptom. It comes as the most obvious one. It is usually preceded by a loss of appetite, frequent urination, diarrhea, and a personality shift. A few common reasons why your cat might have rapidly lost weight can be intestinal infection, lump and oropharynx, allergic reactions, and many more. Take your pet to the vet for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Number 1. If your pet hasn't been to the vet in a year Arguably, the most important reason to take your feline friend to see a doctor is they haven't been to one in the last year. An overwhelming number of cat parents, some with the best intentions for their pet, refuse to take their cats in for routine checkups. They believe the cats are less likely to get sick. Whoever started that rumor probably hated cats. If your cat is under the age of 7, then it's important to take them to see a vet once every year minimally. If your cat is over the age of 7, then you need to take them to the vet once every 6 months, again minimally. 
Be sure to follow up with your cat's regular vet about changes in their nutritional habits, stool examination, behavioral examination, systemic health, and several other important things. All right, comment down below if you learned a thing or two about your cat today. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Inforama, and we'll see you in the next one.